All right, I gotta stop here first. Gotta say hi to my guys, including Prime Air, who. Uh oh. It's like deja vu, almost identical to last year. My first stop. How are you? Good to Morning, see you. Jesse. How you been? Good to see you. Good. Hello, hello. Just uh, telling the guys what to do. What to do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Far, far Good to see you. How you been? Actually, I already have somebody interested in your SSP. Is it is it out yet? Ready? It is, and in fact, I need to confirm shipping address and get your sample to you. Okay, and I got a guy that's interested in buying one already. Okay, cool. Sight unseen. Is it here? Can we take a look at it? I love it. This is just beautiful. And it sounds amazing. Uh, we Man. were able to, so the power supply is completely reconfigured, okay. so that it's a linear power supply. Okay. We have a small switch mode here for, say, standby and digital functions. Let me put but, the light on this. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. But then the massive part of the power supply here is directly for the analog inputs and outputs. So okay. anything pre or post the ADC, it has this amazing uh, uh, phono preamp stage. Uh, it's informed by some beautiful blue brown uh, IC op amp chips that give it just this amazing snap and clarity to the sound. It's this really is actually pretty cool that you've got this much ventilation, but it's not a ringing chassis. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. Uh, you would think that it would ring yeah. with so much cut out, and this no. is actually beautiful. Partly due to the weight, yes. just the positioning of where the holdout bolts are, we're able, we're able to keep it from having that effect. No, this is like a no compromise SSP that people can use both for their home theater and their. Two channel rig. Oh, this is this is something I've been long wanting in the hobby, and then when you get the sexiness of this and the pedigree of Prime Air, I can't wait to. Yeah. And then I have somebody already interested in buying one. So. No, do you want me to send along the eight channel amplifier to be able to configure it in a variety of ways? You know, five point one, seven point one. I only have five. Um, then great. If you have five point one, then you bridge. Okay. Two, three of the pairs. Okay. So you have left, center, right with 375 watts of power, and then you have a spare stereo okay. amp module output for the rear channels. Well, I can't so, say no to that. This okay, is cool. badass. Yeah. Um, so anything other? Yeah, consistent. this has got to be one of my most wanted pieces because yeah. I don't even have my home theater hooked up right now because my SSP died, but I've been holding out for this, so can't no, this wait. Is, this is our focus for this show. It, it really came out even better than we could have hoped for and is the perfect partner for the E35.8, um, as well as if you want to expand the system further, the two-channel amplifier, which is also bridgeable. Okay. So you can meet any kind of system configuration needs with any combination of, of these amplifiers and the SP25 uh, multi-channel processor. And obviously, it also works to serve to add extra channels for our nine-channel power or amplifier integrated amp that has 11 channels of processing. So you have all of those capabilities within that as well. And for people that didn't see us go through your gear last year, yeah. let's do a little quick walkthrough again because, sure. yeah, I've gained a lot of subscribers since last year. Yeah. I love, again, everything with the aesthetic here is just... Price point on this is like what is what is this, this five is thousand under five? Under yeah. five. That's so amazing. Five yes, and yeah, this is a no compromise. This will be about 6, and the power button is actually built into your logo. This yeah, is yeah. what's so. So this incredible. is our standby button. You just press that. You see the light dim. Yeah, yeah. And then if you press it again, it's it'll flash a bit to let you know that it's coming out of standby. As it does a systems check to make sure everything is all right with the amplifier before it pre presents itself to be fully. Yeah, on. you can hear quick. Okay, yeah. yeah. And it's got an auto standby circuit as well, so that um, after 20 minutes of no play, it will turn itself or go into standby, not turn itself off, but go into standby. Um, you can turn that off if you want by okay. just holding this button down for about five seconds. Is that right? The light will flash and okay. then you know you've turned that auto standby off so if you want it on at all times it remains on. But all of this, the kind of design aesthetic and heritage comes from our two channel products and so we've got, uh, we're showing here the pre-35, this is our, our uh, fully balanced stereo preamplifier modular so you can have it as a full analog unit or put a DAC into it or our Prisma network player. 
that can be put into it. This is the DD35, which is our lovely full-size CD transport, that it also mimics our CD35, which okay. is a full-scale CD player. And that CD35 can also have the network player uh, platform installed inside of it as well. I just got to get a close look. I mean, this is just my favorite chassis design. I don't care what cost profile, this just to me is classy and clean, modern. Yep. Yeah, I and love because it. we've been doing it so for so many years, and because it actually designed with this uh, uh, cost conscious thing, it not only looks good, but actually is not that expensive to do as other more. Right, you're, you're, you're much more affordable, yep. but there's no compromise inside, as yep. we've seen before with the internals. Um, now, it's all about the implementation. It's all about making sure the design that we've worked so hard is carefully crafted and then gets the best possible performance to the greatest number of people, whether that's our full-scale stuff or then our our Yeah, this would be a great... quarter size uh, 15 series. Yeah, I, I, I just need you... Anytime somebody asks me to start off system... Oh, this is just... Brilliant. You can't beat this and no. then pair it with the audio vectors you got over there. Yeah, I know. That's such this a is... System. This would kill so much more expensive stuff. Yep. Um, no, yeah, we've done, beautiful. We've done demonstrations where people just actually didn't believe that this three-quarter size chassis right. would preside in the sound right. that it was, to the point where we literally had to turn other components off on the rack so that they were certain. They were certain it wasn't being used. That's good. Used. Yeah, and you also have very good variety of inputs and quality. So, yeah, this is a brand... I really, last year was this was my first exposure to Prime Air. Mm -hmm. Loved the look, loved the insides, loved everything about it, and can't wait to get my own piece. So, yeah. yeah. This will be fun. Yeah, well, It'll thank you, fun. and I'm looking forward to it. Sure.